<laughs> okay, I think it's starting. Yeah, I can see it. It says we okay. are now streaming while I'm on Facebook. Awesome. All right, I'm going to make sure that I... Go in here. So are you able, do you have the feature to record for YouTube? Um, I am, but I was thinking I probably wouldn't share the link. So you can just download from the live okay. and then upload it. Because otherwise I have the option to record. So I could record it to my computer and then put yes. it on my YouTube channel, right? Correct. Okay, cool. So should I start my recording? And yeah, so that she's work. coming. Her computer is being stupid. Oh, okay. Hey, I got a notification. Rose Brunwald is now live. <laughs> cool. Awesome. So it works because I got the notification for it. Awesome. Sweet. So um, for those of you seeing this live right now on Facebook, this is our first <laughs> Boily Fireside chat that we um are streaming live and we're gonna learn the ropes a little bit here and maybe run into a few snakes right <laughs> with us um for those of us broadcasting that might be also looking at it live just make sure to turn if you want to see the comments or if you share it on your own page make sure to mute our video in facebook so that we don't get um what do they call that? Like the double like feedback? Yeah, correct. Okay, and I have the video open. So um, let's see here. If anyone has questions as we're going along, feel free to um, pop them on our page and we will be watching. Who joined us on the iPad? It's not Janelle, is it? No, it's Debbie. Oh, hi, Debbie. I can't get my face on. Oh, no worries. There We're should be on Facebook. So on the bottom, the left hand side, there should be a little microphone icon and a little video camera icon. And you have to share your video. Can you see that? Um, on the left? Yeah. I have nothing there. I, all I have is um, three squares, your picture, Rose, and in um, my iPad. Mm. That's should, I all right. try, should I try going on Facebook? If you want to watch us live on Facebook, that would be fine. Um, you would just interact using comments, um, like typing it in instead of talking to us. So if you want to okay. talk to ask questions, you're welcome to stay here but I can't have you join. There's no way to join in the live conversation verbally on Facebook. Okay. But let me, let me just see if I can work on this here. Okay, no problem. So if I, if I go in and out, I'm sorry. <laughs> no worries. <clears throat> okay. Is Anne trying to get in still? Yeah, I'm messaging with her. She says she's having computer problems. So she should be on shortly. Hmm. Like, OK, no problem. Otherwise, I think we could start without her. Yeah, we can. And she can join us when she pops on. All so right. um, again, welcome to our oily fireside chat. Wait, Just wait, wait, wait. I didn't start my recording for my YouTube channel. Oh. You're getting ahead of me. All right. Oh, please request recording permission from the meeting host. OK, that's you. Did you send it? Yeah. So can I record now? We're all learning new technology tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have an, a request. Aww. Oh, I got mine. Hey. Yay! Hi, Debbie. We see hi. you. <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> Let's see here. How do can I? Nope. That doesn't work. How do I request that from you? I don't know. 
Okay, well, so it looks like you're the only one who can record. I can't. You can download the live video and upload that from from my Facebook page Facebook? or yours if you share it. Okay, sounds good. All right, you can go ahead. Sorry to hold everybody up here. <laughs> no worries. Um, okay, so we're at our oily fireside chat. We do this every Tuesday at eight o'clock central time. Um, for those of you catching us live, this is where we, um, for the first time potentially, this is where we like to talk about how we used oils uh, for the week. It's been a great way for those of us that are using oils to connect, um, especially with safer at home orders and um, a lot of people practicing social distancing. So um, we all just get together, talk about how we're using our oils and um, learn something new from each other. So um, that being said, Tessa, do you want to talk about your week? <laughs> about my week or about using oils? oils this <laughs> Well, let's just say stress away has been used a lot this week. And that's just where I'm going to end that. Um, I actually, so like for tonight, cause you and I had messaged back and forth about grapefruit. <laughs> I was like, Oh, that's okay. I can do my backup plan. So I wanted to talk about, it's not a young living product, but I would not be able to use young living were it not for these bad boys right here. So I just a quick minute on each of them. So this is the quick reference tool. This is like the super tiny one. So I like to give this one to like hostesses when they have classes for me or like when you get a premium starter kit with me. Um, I love to give this away with like a little thieves booklet and like a little um, uses booklet or a thrive booklet. I love to give this one to people just super quick because it's just like super like, oh, can you read that? It's just really nice and condensed. So it's just a really quick reference tool that way. This is my pocket reference tool for oils that I got um, when I first started with oils. And it's just, it's great info, like how oils are done, where they're harvested from. It talks about the blends. It talks about the singles. And then in the back, this is where all my post-it notes are. Um, there's like specific things like, Okay, you have polio. So it tells you a brief description of polio and then it tells you like there are recommendations for singles and for blends or for how to apply it and how to inhale it and all that kind of stuff. And they've got like ear infections and prostate problems and measles and it's just crazy. So they have all of that in here. So this one's this one I used for uh, what am I at? Six years now. So you can see the love, the wear and tear. It's such a great product. If you don't have this reference tool, I highly, highly recommend using it. Otherwise, you just don't get the use out of your oils that you normally would. I mean, I for months just diffused. And then when I really started picking this up and reading it like, oh, I'm taking this over-the-counter medication or drug. I wonder if I could, I wonder if this book says something about it. And that's really when I started my oily lifestyle and not just diffusing. So I highly, highly recommend getting this one if you can afford it. And it's not that bad. It's just $40. If you can afford the textbook, the oils Bible, this is very hefty. It's very heavy. It rivals some of my college textbooks. I kid you not but it is absolutely incredible. This one is in full color. You've got all kinds of pretty pictures. You've got history about oils. This one isn't just the oils, it's also the products. So like um, they have animal sense cat treats and animal sense dental pet chews. And they have, I mean, like everything. It talks about the different techniques for essential oil application. It's got, oils for spiritual, mental, and emotional uses. I mean, like the, it is chapter upon chapter. If there is something, if you're alive, any aspect of your life, this thing covers it. It's insane. And then same as the other one, this one talks about like 
liver disease problems or like all that kind of stuff. It's even got head lice and kidney stones. I mean, just a wealth of information. So if you can afford it, um, like I said, this is step one. I love giving this one away for free for people when they start their oils journey. Then get this one. But if you can afford it, skip this one and just get this bad boy. Because this one, this is, oh my word, I have learned so much and I've only had this thing since December. So that's, I know it's not a Young Living product that I'm highlighting tonight, but I have gotten so much more use out of my oils because I've had these on hand. Um, it's incredible. My, my essential oils, like, usage grew exponentially once I started using these, so... That's my highlight for the evening. That's where I get 90% of my education from. Where did you I get have, the books? I'm sorry. Um, so oh, as a team, we're able to get them. Um, the company is called Life Science Publishing. Um, you can get these on Amazon. They're a little bit more expensive. Life Science Publishing, to get them from their direct is cheaper. Um, if you're going to do a lot of ordering from there, get the membership. But if you're just getting one or two of these books, um, you could probably price compare it to Amazon. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I have yeah. the desk reference as well. They also have a pet one that's yes. almost as thick as the regular one. Um, and I have two cats and two dogs. And so I've uh, actually referred to that quite often um, for some stuff going on with my pets. Um, the other thing, since we're talking about reference guides, um, there are apps that do some of the same stuff yes. too. So I'm gonna hold my phone up here. I don't know if you can see it. I have some apps that I've put into a folder and there's one here called reference guide. Which um, I think is by LSP, isn't it? I think so. This one right here, Ref Guide. The other one I use is the EO Bar. And if you just go to your like Google Play Store or whatever your Apple app store is, um, you can just type in like essential oil reference guide. And when you go in, you can, um, I'm going to show you this really quickly. You can search. As you can see, there's like a list alphabetically of the um, types of oils, blends, products, but also conditions, ailments, um, things you want to look up. So like today, um, we're going to talk about grapefruit. And if I type in, well, that's what I'm going to talk about because I love it. <laughs> if I type in grapefruit, I don't know if you can see this. Then you get a whole bunch of info about grapefruit. It, it talks about its properties. It talks about the constituents, so the chemical pieces that make up the oil. Um, it talks about uh, the common uses that most people use it for, um, other uses, the body systems it affects, um, the influence when you use it aromatically, and then it gives you ideas for how to apply it um, topically or use it if it's one that you can ingest. It tells you what it will blend really well with. So that's a really cool feature for those that are um, making perfumes or looking to spice up their diffuser blends and board with the same old. Um, and it tells you like what kind of scent it is. So I've also used this before buying a new oil um, just to see, hey, is this gonna be strong? Is it gonna be earthy? Is it gonna be whatever? Um, and that's been really helpful too. Well, and it's interesting that you mentioned um, before you buy a new oil, because um, these ones, like when I was really trying to um, boost up my healthy weight management, uh, try and work around FDA. Anyway, I <laughs> looked that up in the back and I was like, okay, so what oils can I help me on this specific journey here? And so then I tailored my next month's ER order to what I found in my book. Yes. Also, the yeah. freebies we get every month with essential rewards. Some of them I've gotten and I'm like, what the crap do I do with this? Like <laughs> longevity. I've been with Young Living for six years now. And for some reason, I've never ordered longevity. And we got it for free last month. And I was like, what do I do with this thing? 
So out came my book. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That was me with Juva Flex. I was like, what the heck is Juva Flex? <laughs> That was a couple months ago already, though. Yep. And then I found it was really great for helping to cleanse the liver. And so yeah. then I started using it. But yeah. Um, so I guess I can go next. Tessa and I were talking this morning about how awesome grapefruit oil is. And I said I wanted to talk about it tonight. And she's like, you totally stole my thunder. I was going to talk about grapefruit oil. So really in mind, think alike. I know. So here's my grapefruit oil. Um, grapefruit's one of my favorites, first of all, because it's cheap. Well, let's just be honest. <laughs> yep. It totally does not break the bank. Um, and so a lot of the citrus oils are very affordable. And so they're kind of my favorite to add to ER because I can squeeze other things on there too and still be within my oils budget. Um, the cool thing about grapefruit is that Grapefruit is a citrus fruit, but grapefruit oil is not photosensitive like the other citrus oils. So if you like the properties and benefits of citrus oils like orange, lime, tangerine, lemon, it shares a lot of the same properties, but you're not gonna get the, the concerns about the severe sunburn um, that you would get when you apply the other citrus oils topically. I actually came across grapefruit um, when I was, I would say more strict in um, my dieting. <laughs> I haven't been as strict with uh, the pandemic going on. Um, and I came across it because I learned that it helps with sugar balancing um, so that you can keep your blood sugars um, balanced. It helps with that. And it can also help with cellulite. It's one of the main oils in my favorite, I just brag about it all the time on my Facebook page, in the Cell Light Massage Oil. Um, and so I apply it topically. Um, I apply it over my heart because it supports your cardiovascular system. Um, I usually do a combination of Aroma Life, which is good for circulation and uh, grapefruit, and I apply it right over the heart. Um, and it smells great there too. I also have been known to apply it right to my stomach for extra boost in the cellulite department. Um, and I love to put it in my water to help with sugar cravings and help to balance my blood sugar and to help me with healthy weight management. Um, it's very bright, refreshing, um, super uplifting. It's amazing in um, a DIY bath, um, gel or like a shower gel and also would be awesome if you're the kind of person who likes to make your own face wash and it's one that I really like a citrusy face wash I use the orange blossom one um, from Young Living which is awesome but if you were a DIYer it would be a good one that you wouldn't have to worry about the sunburn on the face um, because of the photosensitivity so that's my uh, love for grapefruit and I have some in my water right now, by the way. <laughs> That's what I had in my water yesterday. It's so good. I like it in seltzer water because it tastes kind of like uh, squirt. Oh, yeah. I you love my soda addiction. Mm -hmm. So, Anne, do you want to talk about your favorite oil this week? <laughs> And actually, I'm not going to highlight an oil this week, oh. or not. I'm actually going to highlight one of the many body butters, um, specifically lavender. Um, I love being outside. I, I would prefer to be outside doing yard work, all of that thing, versus being inside doing housework. Um, I love being out in the sun. And with that obviously comes, you know, the potential for nice sunburn, whatever. And I try not to, I try not to um, get myself sunburned. Um, I do actually use Young Living's 50 SPF uh, sunscreen. Um, and that's fabulous too. It, um, it really, you get a nice bronze tan um, as you can see, you can see a little bit of, of the tan. I have a runner's tan, by the way. 
And so I usually put this on at night um, just because, you know, it's lavender. It's going to kind of relax you a little bit, but it's really, really, really good for the skin uh, moisturizing. Um, and I, I actually, these came out, oh man, it, it was a while ago. And I actually just got these recently. Um, I, it was another splurge. Um, cause you get four of them. There's a, there's a Valor, there's a, um, vanilla mint, mm. there's lavender and stress away, um, that come as, as a four, four pack. And it's just phenomenal stuff. Um, you don't need a lot. Um, but it's just, I, I just really love the body butters. Um, just because you don't need a lot. They're small, you know, they're easy to travel with. Uh, not that I've done that much traveling in the last few months. Um, but hopefully that'll change soon. Um, so that's kind of my my little blurb on, you know, what I've been using this last week. But uh, two, I still diffuse my peace and calming faithfully every single night. And I sleep like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, this is what I love about our oily chats, uh, fireside chats, if you will, because, okay, I'm totally guilty of not even knowing that we had body butter. So <laughs> I, uh, just now, me too. I <laughs> thought it was only available during Christmas time in the holiday <laughs> gift guide. So, like, <laughs> so I'm like, oh, well, I just here. made it. <laughs> well, what Young Living has like... 726 products. I mean, like, I can't keep all of them straight. <laughs> yeah. So thanks, Anne. Now I have one more thing on my wish list. <laughs> You're welcome. There's also, there's also a, um, I think it's a coconut lime one. Too. That one I knew about. Yeah. But there's, there are these. <laughs> so can you get any of them individually or do they come in that kind of variety pack? They come in that, they, this size comes in that variety pack. Um, okay. The only one that comes individually is the, the lime one, um, which is also a great refreshing one to put on like after a shower. It's, it's nice, really nice. But you don't know, convention is next week. Maybe they'll release them individually in larger sizes. That could be. You never know. <laughs> I'm so excited for convention. I can't believe convention is already next week. I, I know my mind is just blown. I'm like, really already? <sighs> so excited for the new products. I don't even know what they are. And I'm just like, I want to order them all. I know. <laughs> and Luke is going, mm-mm. <laughs> well, Shirley. I have Notice a my budget number. Notice my hubby's not in the room. So <laughs> 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 So funny. What's your oily highlight product for the week? I was going to say, I just switched to using the uh, Valor deodorant. And I have mm. I have always had, since I was a younger teenager, had horrible reactions just about any kind of deodorant, antiperspirant, the whole, whole nine yards. Um, I tried. Like bad. Yeah, I get just horrible, like basically giant rash reactions to everything. It's, it's really bad. It takes weeks to clear up. Even and, other uh, natural deodorants. Yeah, like we, we tried a natural one from Walmart, from, and like and we read it up, here, read up on it. It was way, supposed to be really good. And it took about two weeks for that to, to go away. It's awful. And uh, so so far, it's been really good. Um, it seems to last and hold up pretty well. Been doing a lot of stuff outside with the warm weather, so been very impressed. And I love Valor; just smells good. So. Yeah, he yes. smells very nice. I, I would agree. I have <laughs> the same deodorant, and I. Yeah. Yeah. Now, is it like a gel or is it more like a solid? It's a solid. Yeah, it's a solid. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, now, so for I those that might excited. be, for those that might be transitioning for the first time to like a Young Living deodorant, um, when I switched to a natural deodorant, I went through a detox period where um, I stunk really, really bad. And to be honest with you, that was years and years and years of using aluminum based antiperspirant stopping my body from releasing those toxins um it took a little bit and it was stinky i'm just gonna be honest with you so yep. i had the same thing 
you have to be a little bit patient and give it some time because uh, once you're detoxed of it, um, then I think you'll find that they work pretty good. But um, just not to think that, oh, it's not working if the first week you stink really bad. Yeah, that's a good thing to note. I, because I can't, aluminum is one of the things I react to. So that I just haven't had any of that in anything I've used in 14 years. So that's awesome. I mean, mine was really bad. Oh, yeah. I went through it like I would put on the deodorant and two hours later. And, and by the way, it took two days for the aluminum based antiperspirant to wear completely out of my system before I started the detox, which yeah. actually had me a little like, gosh, I've been slathering this on for years. Mm. Um, but once it did start to detox, I would put on the deodorant and about an hour or two later, it was like, oh my gosh, I need to reapply. This is really stinky. Um, I actually found a post where you can use, is it lavender and tea tree or is it just the lavender oil? I think it's just the lavender. If you wanna do a detox, they say to shower before bed and then you just put the lavender oil under your armpits and you'll detox while you sleep that in the morning mm -hmm. you can wash again. Mm -hmm. I learned that on a Linus page. So anyway. All right. Anyone else before we wrap up for the night? Debbie, anything to share with us? Um, I mainly used a lot of lavender this week. I put it in my diffuser and um, I was painting and it took me almost all morning just to do a little bit in my kitchen. I think it, it, it helped me concentrate on what I was doing. I wasn't slapping it on all, you know, slapping it all on and Emma we'll go ahead. You know, I just, and then I would stop for a while and I go do something else and came back and it was a good painting experience that day. <laughs> so I used a, a lot of lavender in a diffuser. Awesome. Some people put lavender uh, right in their paint. Oh, mm -hmm. should have did that. <laughs> <laughs> Next like, time. Next yeah, time. yeah. I, Next hopefully time. I don't have to paint for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I hate painting. Oh, yeah. I love painting. Do you? Well, I'm oh, calling yeah. you next time we have to meet. Yeah. Standing the eyeball out here. And <laughs> you, you, you ask, you ask Janelle. She'll tell you. I painted her whole house, all except for two rooms, um, two summers ago. And she's like, "Okay, mom, here, here's a project for you." I'm like, "Totally for you." <laughs> me, for me, it's therapeutic. Yeah, yeah. It, it really is. Maybe we should have her come and finish our mudroom. <laughs> uh, it's causing some problems. <laughs> hey, the other thing I want to mention about lavender, um, I found a, I was flipping through my Taste of Home recipe books for those of you who saw my post on my regular Facebook page, and they had a recipe in there for lavender honey lemonade mm. and I got to thinking hey you could just do this on your own using lavender essential oil without having to find lavender and crush it up and do all that annoying super fantastic cook stuff that I don't do <laughs> um and so I was thinking that would probably be a pretty refreshing drink in the summer it's amazing so. we love it awesome yeah, it's yeah, good. Kind of Tessa's uh, go-to for the, the su summer. Keep it awesome. in the fridge. Mm -hmm. Also, a few drops of lime in your lemonade is very good. Mm. What was the other one we tried? Ginger. Ginger. Yeah, that was surprising. Mm -hmm. It was on a whim. Let's try something new. Ginger. Not much. Very, very no, little. it goes a long <laughs> way. But a little bit of ginger in your lemonade is very good. Um, I have, for those that might be watching that follow Trim Healthy Mama, because I tell everyone about that too, there's a drink that they have that they call Good Girl Moonshine. And you might also find some drinks um, and benefits of apple cider vinegar to your health and to your weight management. 
um, that drink called for powdered ginger and powdered cinnamon, which were never, ever dissolving in no. my drink. It was disgusting. Yeah. So <laughs> now I like to just add a drop of the ginger uh, essential oil and I'll add a drop of the cinnamon essential oil. Sometimes I'll add a drop of the nutmeg. That's so, yeah. We do have it. <laughs> Luke's like, there's the cinnamon essential oil. Why don't we? I have love it? cinnamon so much. <laughs> on the show. There's too much on the show. It's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> there is never too much on the shelf. Be gone. We've got like rows just on the tap because the shelf is full. Oh, Luke. You, you... <laughs> You will never understand. <laughs> I understand. My tool bench never is big enough. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? See, Tessa has her tools and yep. you have your tools. Yep. Mm -hmm. Anyway. <laughs> All right, friends. I haven't seen any questions come into the live. Um, next week, uh, we should do a little roll call so we can see where people are from. I did see people popping okay. on and off, but nobody really said anything and we never asked them to say anything, right? So of course they wouldn't know that we wanna know who's watching us. Um, so I'm ready to wrap up unless you have anything else to share, we can let everyone get on with the rest of their evening. Good. Well, thanks for joining us. We'll be here again next week, Tuesday, eight o'clock central time. Uh, we'll be streaming live again. Um, and working on uploading uh, the replay. I know Tessa, you're gonna work on that to email out to some of your people who might be catching us. Um, yep. So thanks for joining us, everyone. Have a great you night. Us. You too. A safe yeah. night. It's really windy out there. Yes, yeah. be very safe. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.